Looking good and feeling good go hand in hand. If you have a healthy lifestyle, your diet and nutrition are set, and you're working out, you're going to feel good. I'm enthusiastic and ambitious, and I work hard. Your body is like a piece of dynamite. You can tap it with a pencil all day, but you'll never make it explode. You hit it once with a hammer, bang. Get serious. Do 40 hard minutes, not an hour and half of nonsense. It's so much more rewarding. I've come from nowhere, and I'm not shy to go back. Once you expose your private life, if you give one little bit, the floodgates are open and everyone's got a free range for you. And it was a great experience, you know, to travel the world and compete at a certain level. It teaches you discipline, focus, and certainly keeps you out of trouble. I'm used to being efficient and a guy that can do more than the average guy can. The fight training was very extensive, a lot of stretching, a lot of coordination of balance exercises. I just gravitate to those more testosterone-filled sort of parts than me playing something a bit more fairy-like. I love Tony J.A.A. He's one of the best and most capable martial arts stuntmen in the world. I'm more into MMA than any other sport. I watch a lot of the UFC fights. I have since it first came onto the scene. I like to relax. Spend it with people that I've grown up with, or people that I care about, and just relax, sit around doing nothing or sitting on a beach. I'm prepared to take risks. And every movie that I do is a risk. No one knows what the movie is going out turn out like. Musclemen grow on trees. They can tense their muscles and look good in a mirror. So what? I'm interested in practical strength that's going to help me run, jump, twist, punch. I think we're all sensitive, everyone has a certain way about themselves that people don't like to let their emotions out too often. I think people tend to suppress them and hold them in, so I think there's a bit of that in me. It's not like I'm dying to do work that's taken seriously, and I'm not looking to become a thespian. It's not what I'm looking for, I'm just looking to do quality work. A kid is something precious, and you want to protect it and keep it fun. I'm not a dad but I've seen people and how they behave with their kids. If you got a good imagination, a lot of confidence and you kind of know what you are saying, then you might be able to do it. I know a lot of colorful characters at home that would make great actors. The 
insurance of working with a big, already successful franchise just gives you the chance to do other things on a more personal level. I'm not fixed in any genre. I love all kinds of films. The essential thing is, you have to have good material. If you have the filmmaker, and the material, and the script is good, you can start from there. Look at someone like Edward Norton. A truly phenomenal actor. He's definitely went to school and trained. Some of my favorite movies are action movies. You want something good to say. That comes from good writing. But writing is not a skill I possess, unfortunately. One of the toughest guys in the world is Randy Couture. He is the true epitome of what a tough guy is. I know. A lot of the films I've done, it's obvious I'm going to beat up six guys and just walk out the door. There's not a lot of motivating factors, it's just action for the sake of action. You ain't ever gonna get an Academy Award for doing Crank, and you certainly won't for doing all the other movies I've done. Sometimes there are people who don't know how to make action movies, and that situation isn't a good one. I like fashion. My mom was a dressmaker, believe it or not, so the consequence of that was that all my clothes were homemade, and I looked like a terrible mess until I was old enough to buy my own. But I love good tailoring. It's street theater. You have to make it entertaining so people don't get bored and walk away. Without doing the big blockbusters, I wouldn't be able to find the money to go after little projects that I want to do. I've been unfortunate enough to be working and recovering from a few injuries now and again.